can't tell the, that I, I can't even I don't even like thinking about it let alone letting it come out of my mouth I've been there come on. I've been to the place I've been to the place where I say I, I don't want to tell my daddy this because you know sometimes people think a certain way of you right, and right. you feel like if you tell them this that's going to alter what they see. Yeah. You know, yeah. what they see. I was going to talk about the prodigal son. That's all right. I was going to talk about the prodigal son. And, and, and y'all know the story. I gave y'all the scriptures. Yeah. So I'm going to just paraphrase for a little bit. The prodigal son had a daddy. Yes, he did. And he said to his daddy, y'all read that because I don't want y'all to think that I'm making this up. I'm just going to be talking in my terms, in terms these young people can understand, in terms, if the truth be known, that we can understand, because sometimes I need the uh, NIV version, I need, I need them to make it plain to me, you know, because we don't talk like thou and thus and all this, you know, so I'm going to just make it plain, but this is in the book, it's in the word. He had a daddy, and the, and the little topic of my, my message was going to be, there's no place like home. Oh. And when the sister, when the sister was, I said, boy, she all in it. She's all in it. But you know, that lets you know that must be God. It must be God. All right. So there was this son. He had a daddy. Well. And he went to his dad and he said, Dad, I think I'm grown now. Because that's basically what he was saying. That's what he said. That's what some of us said. That's what I said. I know that's that's what I said. I thought I was grown, and you know, so went to the daddy and said, "I'm grown now. Give me what's supposed to be mine, and I'm gonna just go on about my way." And being the dad that he was, come on, he thought about it. Yeah, you're not ready yet. You're not ready. Some of us young people, some of the old people, but it's youth day. But y'all, everybody young, so take it, take it for what it is. Some of us young people, sometimes we go to our parents and we say, give me what's mine. I'm going to take it because I'm ready. I'm ready. I think I know what to do with it. I can handle it. All right, now. And your parents and the people that love you and know you best, they're saying, honey, you ain't ready right now. I'm ready. You just wait a while. Wait a while. There's some more learning that you got to do. And as young people and as people of God, sometimes God tells us that. I know that's right. Uh -huh. You say, God, give it to me. Because I'm ready for it. Give it to me. I want it now. And God said, No, you ain't ready. You ain't matured enough. You you ain't got it, got it, you ain't got the things that you need to have. So when I give it to you, you'll be able to handle it. But we want it. We want it. Well, come on. So God being who he is, and some of our parents being who they are, they give it to us. You don't know what to do with it, but I'm going to give it to you. So this son took what God, what the daddy had given to him. And he said, I'm all right now. So I can imagine, and this is me, because you know when I read the word, you know, I, I got to see it in my times and, and what I think, you know. So I can imagine... He got, I'm assuming, money. Uh -huh. uh, maybe he set him up with a house, car. Uh -huh. He got all that stuff. Because it was set up for him. But it wasn't his time yet. He wanted it. Daddy gave it to him. So he said, I'm, I'm all right now. Uh -huh. So honey, he got a little pep in his step. And I could imagine if it was a girl, she'd have been a little switch in her walk. And just tipping. You tipping in. You, you, you think you got it all. You think you got it all. So they got it. And I can imagine, it's in the word that he was out there. He went afar off. And how many know sometimes when we know that we don't, we're not going to do the right thing, we go way off. We go way off. We go over there. I'm going to be honest with y'all because y'all ain't been saved all my life. I don't want y'all to think that. When I wanted to creep, I'm not going to stay around, so I'm going to go up the road. Y'all know that's the truth. Baltimore, up the road. I know them saints ain't gonna see me up there. I'm going on up the road. That's the truth. That's the truth. Because you knew that you wasn't about the right thing. You knew if somebody sold you, they would say, "Sister, you wrong." I'm not talking about sister, sister. I'm talking about sister in general. You wrong. Come on back. What you doing out here? And we didn't want to hear that. There was always this woman in the 
church I used to go to. Now she know I want a bit more saved at that particular time. Man in the moon. So when church was over, I'm ducking her because I don't want to try to explain nothing to her. I don't want her to talk to me. I don't want her to say nothing. And she would always be waiting at that door. And she would say, you still holding on? And I would say, mother, Every day is a struggle. You know, I'm going to pray for you. I said, do that. And I went on. But how many know sometimes when you're in the wrong, you don't want nobody to be talking to you. You don't want them to, to tell you the right thing. So you try to dip and die. So he stayed local. He went way off. Yes, he, did. he went way up the road. And he partook in riotous living. Yeah. That means he was doing everything that he was big and bad enough to do. He was doing it all. Name it, he done it. Some of us was had some riotous living. We was doing everything that we was big enough and bad enough to do. So he's out there. And I want you young people to listen to this real good. I want you to listen to this. When he had the, the cars and he had, y'all y'all said what, the Lambo or whatever. What, what is it? Okay, yeah, because I hear him singing them songs and doing all that. So he had his Lamborghini and his money. He was dressed, had black label and all the Air Forces, and he had all that. So when he had all that, he had some good friends. When he had all that, he had some good friends. How many of y'all know that when you got something somebody else wants, they're going to be just like this. Always around me. Always there. You call them, girl. You trying to go. Oh, I'm going. I'm going. You paying and they going. You driving. They ain't gave you five dollars for gas or nothing. They going. You in the house. You in the They going. On your dime. They going. On your dime. And you think because they want to be around you that they are your friends. Well, they're not your friends. Well, they just want what you got. That's right. That's right. They ain't your friends. Come on. They want what you got. I'm gonna latch myself onto her. And I'm gonna get her for everything that I can get. That's the kind of people that he 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 linked up with. And I'm gonna tell you how I know. He was out there having big fun. Oh, he was doing it up. Big fun. And then, he lost it all. A famine came in the land. And a famine is when there ain't no food. Nobody. Don't got no food. No jobs. Nothing. You struggling. So he had all this money. And then, he spent it all. I could imagine that all of it wasn't spent on him. He didn't have the good sense to put some up, save some from a rainy day. See, that's that's what the father has seen. That's what the father has seen. He knew that he didn't have enough good sense to weed out the good, to weed out the bad, and just accept the good. He knew that. So that's why he didn't want to give it to him. So when you children are saying, and some of us adults, I want it, I want it, I want it, and you not getting it. You have to realize that there is a reason. It may not be God's will for you to have what you're asking right, for. Right. And if it is his will, it may not be a no, just a not yet. It's different. It's a difference between no, you cannot have it. And I'm not going to give it to you yet. So some of us try to make that no a yes. And some of us try to make that not yet a right now. So you get it and you don't know what to do with it. See, the Lord knows that. Your parents know that. So when they tell you, don't be hanging around with that boy. Oh, come on. That's what they said. That's what they told me. I know parents are still saying it because I said it myself. Don't you fool with that girl. She